The German Bundeswehr plans to procure a new main battle tank starting in the 2030s as an interim solution until the introduction of the main ground combat system, MGCS for short. This project is known under the designations Leopard 2AX, Leopard 3, or simply interim solution. In this video, you will learn everything that is currently known about the future main battle tank of the Bundeswehr. And with that, welcome to a new video on my channel. If you want to stay up to date on security and defense policy, feel free to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future videos. Let's get started. Starting in the 2030s, the German army requires a new main battle tank to bridge the gap until the introduction of the MGCS. Since the MGCS is expected to replace the Leopard 2 around 2050, the interim solution is anticipated to have a service life of approximately 20 years. This new tank is expected to incorporate certain features and capabilities of the MGCS. At first glance, the Leopard 2 A8 seems like a natural choice. However, its procurement is primarily a political decision aimed at achieving full equipment levels as quickly as possible. The Leopard 2 A8 does not fully meet the Army's requirements for a modern main battle tank. In particular, it still has significant gaps in protection, mobility, and sensor technology compared to the Army's expectations. To address these shortcomings, the Army is evaluating possible upgrades within the framework of the Leopard 2 AX project, though this designation is still a provisional working term. The project aims to achieve further improvements in firepower, protection, mobility, and night combat capability. Ultimately, the goal is to field a main battle tank that is adapted to the current threat landscape and surpasses the Leopard 2 A8 in combat effectiveness. To explore these improvements, KNDS Germany, Rheinmetall, and Hensoldt have been commissioned to conduct a series of technical studies, which we will examine in more detail shortly. According to the Bundeswehr's procurement office, the results of these studies are expected by the end of 2026. Only after this will decisions regarding configuration and production numbers be made. According to Hartpunkt, between 90 and 300 of these new tanks could be procured. Interestingly, the Leopard 2 AX initiative originally started with the intention of modernizing approximately 100 Leopard 2A5 and A6 tanks that had not yet been upgraded. However, current indications suggest that the Bundeswehr is now considering acquiring brand new main battle tanks to replace older models instead. The final quantity will depend on whether only the 100 unmodernized Leopard 2s are replaced or whether nearly all pre-A8 versions will be phased out. Moreover, a further increase in production numbers is conceivable due to new NATO capability targets. From 2031 onwards, Germany might be required to provide NATO with two to six additional combat brigades, and these are expected to be armored brigades rather than light or medium formations. If this requirement materializes, the Bundeswehr's demand for main battle tanks could increase by several hundred units. However, both the planned procurement starting in 2030 and the final number of tanks face a major obstacle, funding. At this stage, no clear financial commitment has been made, leaving the future of the project uncertain. The main armament for the new battle tank is planned to be the 130mm smoothbore gun slash L-52 from Rheinmetall, which is expected to be significantly more powerful than the currently used 120mm smoothbore gun. According to Rheinmetall, the new gun's caliber, which is 8% larger, delivers around 50% more kinetic energy, thereby significantly increasing the tank's penetration power and overall effectiveness. As part of the Leopard 2AX project, Rheinmetall has been commissioned to conduct three technical studies focusing on the development of specific ammunition types. The DM-13 ammunition is intended to serve as the qualification round for the future tank gun and is being specifically developed for the economic and timely certification of the new weapon system. Additionally, the DM-11 multifunctional high-explosive ammunition and the DM-23 kinetic energy ammunition are being finalized for use with the 130mm gun. The prototype of the 130mm gun was first presented at the Eurosatory Defense Exhibition in Paris in 2016. It has a length of 6.6 .6 meters and weighs over 3.5 tons compared to the approximately 3 tons of the currently used 120mm gun. 
The ammunition weighs over 30 kilograms and is approximately 1.30 meters long, making an autoloader necessary. This requirement leads to structural modifications to the tank's turret and hull, further increasing development and integration efforts, as reported by Hartpunkt. Additionally, KNDS Germany and Hensoldt have each been tasked with a technical study for the development of an automatic field calibration system. Currently, the Leopard 2 relies on manual field calibration performed by the gunner to compensate for thermal effects such as sun exposure or barrel stress. An automated calibration system would reduce crew workload, shorten calibration time, and ensure consistently high precision. Another key consideration for the tank's armament is the integration of a remote-controlled weapon station. This station could be equipped with a heavy machine gun or an automatic grenade launcher intended for use against lightly armored vehicles, enemy infantry, and especially drones. However, to counter drones effectively, the necessary sensor systems for drone detection would need to be integrated. The protection level of the Leopard 2AX is also set to be significantly improved compared to older versions. One of the key enhancements is the Multifunctional Self-Protection System 2.0, MUS 2.0 for short, an advanced version of the MUSS system, which will be introduced with the second batch of Puma infantry fighting vehicles. MUSS 2.0 was first unveiled at the Eurosatory Defense Exhibition in the summer of 2024 and features reduced weight, a smaller silhouette, and enhanced capabilities. The system includes four passive sensor heads with missile and laser warning sensors, a central control unit, an advanced infrared jammer, and a countermeasure unit. According to the manufacturer, MUSS 2.0 is capable of detecting anti-tank guided missiles, tracer rounds, rocket-propelled grenades, muzzle flashes, and kinetic energy rounds. Additionally, it can precisely identify and classify low-power lasers used in beam-riding guidance systems and laser rangefinders. The system enables simultaneous detection, prioritization, and neutralization of multiple threats, with all data being integrated into the battle management system. KNDS Germany has been commissioned to further develop and integrate MUSS into the Leopard 2AX. This version will feature optical detection capabilities, a globally unique technology. Using the cat's eye effect, the tank could actively scan its surroundings and detect reflections from enemy optical systems, allowing it to identify even well-camouflaged weapon and reconnaissance systems. In parallel, Hensoldt has been contracted by the BAAE and BW to develop the Odeon Protection System, a demonstrator for the automated detection of enemy optical systems. The design phase began in December 2024, and the contract runs until the end of 2026 with a budget of 17.6 million euros. Odeon is based on the Must Jammer Head 2 technology and is designed to detect enemy drones and targeting systems in real time, alert the crew, and display the threats. Future development stages will add jamming and dazzling functions to disrupt enemy reconnaissance systems using electronic interference and strong light pulses. Odeon will function as a multi-sensor system that can be networked with existing systems, helping to reduce false alarms. In the long term, a fusion of Odeon and MUST technologies is planned to ensure comprehensive protection for the Leopard 2AX. Additionally, the Active Protection System trophy is expected to be included in the tank's defensive suite. To enhance the mobility of the Leopard 2AX KNDS, Germany has been commissioned to develop a new engine called OLYMP. Unlike previous Leopard 2 engines, which were produced by MTU, this engine is being developed by Liebherr, a first for the company, as Liebherr has only previously supplied engines for infantry fighting vehicles and never for a main battle tank. According to a BAAINBW statement, the OLYMP power unit will be a self-contained system comprising a combustion engine, steering transmission system, cooling system, combustion air filtration, and exhaust system. As part of a study to improve agility, the new power unit will be developed using as many existing components as possible from the current system. If all technical studies are successfully completed and the Bundeswehr decides to implement all the proposed new capabilities, the new main battle tank would fundamentally differ from the current Leopard 2. Whether the future tank will be designated as Leopard 2AX or Leopard 3 will largely depend on its final configuration. 
As mentioned earlier, this new tank is intended to serve as an interim solution until the introduction of the German-French MGCS. Given the complex history of joint tank projects between Germany and France, this approach appears necessary. Previous attempts, such as the standard Panzer and the Kampfpanzer 90 program, failed due to differing defense policies and tactical requirements, ultimately leading to national solutions. Furthermore, budget constraints in the past have often turned interim solutions into long-term fixtures. Although history does not necessarily have to repeat itself, doubts remain about the successful completion of this third attempt of a German-French tank development. Many voices from politics, the armed forces, and procurement organizations express skepticism about the MGCS project, which is primarily being pushed forward at the highest political level, not necessarily out of strong belief in its success, but rather out of concern that abandoning it could further strain the already tense relationship with France. That concludes the overview of the Bundeswehr's future main battle tank. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date on security and defense policy in the future. A big thank you to Moritz, who will undoubtedly do a great job editing this video again. And thank you to all of you for watching. Hopefully, see you next time.